Well, just so you know, this video is in fact sponsored by Squarespace. I love this car. This is the best car. Never have I been so excited about a brand new camera release than this. It's the J6. It's the camera that they announced before they announced the predecessor to the J6 and the successor to the GH5, the GH5 II, which was like six months ago, was it? Nine months actually, doesn't time fly when you're in the pandemic. A little bit longer than six months ago, that's when I was just arrived <laughs> yeah. to UK. That was pretty much the first thing we did. And we looked at GH5 II, they announced the GH5 II and said, this is an old product. <laughs> yeah, they announced the GH5 II, they said this is an old product because the GH6 is coming very, very soon. And here it is. How exciting. Never mind about the arm, we'll talk about that in a separate video. Fancy, it's got a new red button. Tally light. Yeah, tally light. Extra record button, record button on the front. Then you've got a record button on the top and you've got the shutter button, which can be used as a record button. But it does shoot stills. Moving on to the video mode. <laughs> I mean, that's how much people care about the stills mode, isn't it? On the GH6. The GH. I don't. Who is going to use this for stills? Certainly not me, but why am I excited about it? Because I ditched the GH5 because I thought it was not enough dynamic range. It still has that video look. It doesn't look cinematic enough. This has got a dynamic range boost, which gives you over 13 stops of dynamic range. I don't know what that means. I mean, everybody says like, oh, we've got 14 stops of dynamic range, 15 stops. How do you make sense of that? As long as it looks good, that's all that matters. I mean, the thing is, it was already quite good on GH5 Mark II. It was yeah. much improved already. And then this supposed to be better. And it looks like it's better from that screen anyway. I mean, you'd hope it's better because it's a brand new product. It's not just a Mark II of something. The thing with dynamic range boost is that it changes the lowest ISO from 100. It goes down to 100, right? Well, it depends on different color profile. Yeah, you like the dynamic range boost off. So how does that work? Well, they say they combine a low noise image with a highly saturated one. That's with it off. Boost! That's with it on. A boost in dynamic range sounds good. Sounds better than it looks because it's not an obvious difference. You can crop in 200%, but they look like the same file. Boost on and off are virtually indistinguishable, but when you push the exposure, you probably still won't notice a difference. But the waveform shows that the highlights have clipped on the image without boost. Personally, I'd switch it off most of the time. The increased minimum ISO of 2000 is a bit too much of a compromise, especially on a hot sunny day. Mind you, at least you won't need to worry about overheating. If you look on the side, a fan. I'm your number one fan. Right here. You can tweak the fan settings and thermal management. There's no time limit to recordings and I'm sure you can record for ages. I mean, I've never had a Panasonic GH overheat on me. It still keeps us weatherproofing. They said that it's a weatherproof fan. It might mean that water can get thin. Yeah. But then it doesn't matter. Yeah. The fan is waterproof anyway. Yeah. and the water don't get into anywhere else in the camera. I guess that's what they and meant. To meant. demonstrate how it works. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this green liquid. It's like those sanitary towel adverts. They have like a special coloured liquid. Yeah, so you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you already tried dropping it earlier. Thank you, Dan. But yeah, also if you look around this kind of area, this is new as well. Do you, you know the S1H? It's just like that screen. So it flips out like that, it tilts. So you can do that. So it flip up is faster than a normal flip screen. You just, yeah. Flip. Cause this is it's handy. You don't have to just to tilt it like that. You don't have to have it out like this. You just have it like this, one of those. But also that means, you know, if you're vlogging, you got your screen out like that and you want to have cables in there as well. You can rotate the screen without cables getting in the way, which is very nice. Very handy. So today I have brought the GH6 out vlogging 
at the zoo because the GH5 was my favourite vlogging camera and I thought I'd give this a try. For rolling shutter low, low on the jello or jello, depending on your linguistic or wobbly sweet red thing preference. And even without using IS boost, the handheld shots are really stable, quite noticeably better than a five and as good as any mirrorless camera is going to offer. Now stabilization has been improved on the GH6. So as you can see, this is probably really smooth. It works really nicely for vlogging, even when you're walking. Even after getting rid of the good old GH5, I still feel like I haven't found a better stabilized camera for this wobbly handheld style of shooting we call vlogging. This record button is a little bit annoying at times because you might accidentally press it. Of course, you can disable it, you can change it, but still, I think it's quite, this can be quite useful. If you're vlogging, you can just do that. But I can just sense, especially there's not much surface area for you to hold a camera anyway, you're probably gonna accidentally press it in which case you're just gonna dis disable it. There is a lock button on here. I mean, not button, there's a little switch. <laughs> so you can do that and it doesn't do anything. You can, oh, the record button still works. Yeah, the, with the S1X, you always also got a button, record button in front and my middle finger always bump into that. When the last time we went to Malaysia, so, so it's not just me, it happened to you as well. Yeah. It's got a little mic and I press that and you get the information for the mic. So you can adjust it really Very easy. Very useful. I like that a lot. So they make a very video centric. It's, it's good for people who like shooting video. So why don't they just get rid of the still stuff? Exactly. Yeah. Mechanical shutter, what's, what's it doing in there? When you sell this, yeah. shutter count zero. They try and make it look like you get more value for money. Mm. 2,000 pounds, brand new price. Brand new camera, brand new price, 2,000 pounds. What do you get with it? That's new, under the flap. Instead of dual SD, you've got one CF Express. Oh no, my bank account. To spend money on CF Express. Why? 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 Well, we're just getting to that because this shoots 5.7K ProRes internal. Oh. No raw though. No raw. Oh. Um, raw is not coming, mm. but they will have, at the minute, 5.7K ProRes. It's only available in 5.7K ProRes, but 4, 4K, 4K and 1080p will be coming soon with a firmware update. ProRes. Yeah. So we've come a long way for lunch. We have come from just over there. It looks long way, it's just it's because of the wide angle. Wide. Dan's got the best seat in the house. Mm. Went next to the bin. Yeah. That looks like Pepto Bismarck. I've not seen this in, uh, in, in forever, right? I think you can get it on, on Amazon. Oh, Sarsi? <laughs> I have not What's had this taste in about five years since I've been. Well, it tastes a bit different to Sarsi, doesn't it? No, it's a Dali. No. Let's try some. I am hugely impressed by the 5.7K, but also the 4K. I probably would end up filming in 4K most of the time, especially once it gets the ProRes update. I didn't actually think they could eke anything more out of the micro four thirds sensors since the GH5, but the image you get of the GH6 is gorgeous. Although it takes a bit of time getting your head around all those different recording quality options, some offer variable frame rates and some only work with CF Express, which makes me wonder why they didn't just do a double CF. Expensive, yes, but at least you don't have to think about which card does what. Mainly what's new, is, yeah, what it's capable of, what it can shoot. Because the body is pretty much similar apart from the card and the fan. It actually looks red button. more like uh, S5 now because GH5 was curvier. Yeah. yeah. I mean, now it's the a lot more is... blocky, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it looks like a baby S1H, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. Even though it doesn't stick out that much with the fan. Because you said it's, this is actually bigger than S5. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, the whole benefit of a GH6 is not really the size and weight of the camera. Well, we've got Michael Forford size lenses. Yeah, that is a good thing. 8 to 18, equivalent to 16 to 35, 36. You wouldn't get that kind of size for full frame. 
20, it's like a 24105 or 24120. It's 12 to 60. And then 42.5, 1.2. F1.2. I'm just change of V-log. Is now V-log, not V-log L. Ooh. And you don't have to pay for it. It doesn't come in this little envelope, a little envelope with a code on. <laughs> that was back in the days. For those simple workflows, you've got the Cine likes for the color cooked in goodness. D being lower contrast and saturation, obviously because D stands for, uh, never mind. Cine like V2 has a more colorful, saturated look, high contrast. 709L, don't bother. Hybrid log gamma, cool, but coolest is full on V log for maximum dynamic range and tweak ability. But you know, this is literally just a log file with a 709 LUT slapped on. No color tweaks at all, and that would be my choice. V log for those all important shots of people holding up color checkers. And as we had a zoo, it's a good time to try out the animal AF detection. A few cages. There we go. The animal detection isn't completely perfect when shooting through cages, but not a huge surprise there. I'll get a room. Now, one thing I used to do a lot with the JH5 was just have it on 50p, 4K, and then I'd just have it on aperture priority. So I just set the aperture and then just use whatever shutter speed. Doesn't matter about 180 degree shutter. But here I have got it on 50p, 4K, of course, uh, 100 of a second, because this can go down a lot lower when it comes to ISO. If you use dynamic range boost, the minimum ISO, if you're using V-Log, is 2000. With something more transparent in the way, the animal detection works much better. The reflections from the glass sometimes play havoc with the AF, but you know what? I think the AF is actually quite good. I know, right? So you've got a face and eye. We just, we just focus on that bit and the human fur. Yeah, still detects you. Yeah. Oh, you're on human? Yeah. And then when it's just, it'll, it'll pick up the face and eye? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's quite reliable. I mean, when we go from the hand, I've got your camera in the way. It feels like it's better than, than S5. It is. When I first got this out of the box, I thought, is this, have they gone for face detection? Because they gave us this, they sent us this, then we had a little briefing. I thought, is it, is it face detection? And then in the briefing, nothing was mentioned, so it's still essentially the same, but they've got a new engine inside of this. So maybe it's a little bit faster, maybe it's tweaked it a little bit, but it's certainly better than GH5. Because just yet, when I'm shooting video, just yet, when you oh, show uh, something on the camera, if I, from shooting on your face to shooting some bit on the camera, yeah. the S5 definitely can't focus that quick. Gets confused, isn't it? This is really good. Well, you know, I'm, okay, maybe, maybe I'm overhyping it a bit, but it's pretty good. And especially with plans on the camera, it's like when you test it, it could be really good. <laughs> yeah. But then if you own it, and use it for a month, yeah. you're kind of like, oh, what? In some situation, it's like, why it don't work? Only time will tell how it works in the long run, but I've had no beef with the AF in the two weeks I've had it. Usually the GH5 or other Panasonic cameras have struggled to focus on the subject when backlit. Often it would do this pulsing thing, going in and out of focus on the background, but here, nothing but slick AF AF. And it's not totally clear why. I don't understand that, and there's no, no kind of spec to say this is why it just feels it yeah <laughs> so i could be wrong it could be totally wrong contrast detect af doesn't always equal worse than phase detection autofocus if it works then it's disco maybe no need for the dancing though so they made a point about there's no there's no crop in anything so most modes there's no crop it's just one of the anamorphic modes isn't it what they do with all anamorphic shots is just to have some really inappropriate use of random lights in the frame just to get that flaring de squeeze display. It's 1.3, is it? Yeah. So you've got, you've got different options here. So time to make an ad with inappropriate use of anamorphic flare. New Asian dating ad. Or just an inappropriate ad. Saucy, slippery Asian nipples. Oh, 
sexy, saucy, slippery Asian nipples. Dot com. I have to say, I wasn't too optimistic after they announced a confusing GH5 too about the GH6, but I take it all back. I'm all in for this. There's still life in the Micro Four Thirds format after all, and they're squeezing every little drop of video goodness out of this one. Small sensor, but packs a punch. I mean, there's the GH6, they've fixed a lot of things that I didn't quite like on the GH5. So th to me, this is pretty close to perfect for Micro Four Thirds camera that shoots video. The only trouble is, everybody wants full frame now. Yeah. Does anybody still want this? Even if the S5 is cheaper and it doesn't have quite the same specs as this, it is full frame and it's cheaper. The market is different to when the GH5 was released. There's more choice for video and the trend is towards full frame. But if you can look past the smaller sensor thing, the GH6 is shaping up to be a winning formula. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24-7 customer service, you can try it out with a 14-day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. No, this is this is saucy. Try it. Saucy's different. Get a cup. I know, I know, I know, I know what A and W tastes like. Oh, thank you. That. This is the saucy one. Saucy Willow. Saucy Willow, yeah. Try it. Saucy's a different. Saucy's a brand, isn't it? No, try this. Honestly, I, I know what it tastes like. Aya. It's it. Aya, aya, aya. Oh, that is amazing. This tastes like medicine. Cough medicine. This this looks like cough medicine. <laughs>